Welcome! This is about how you can use Power BI on your local developer virtual machine. I'm using here the version 8 with platform update 15. And I have installed Power BI Desktop already on this machine. So in order to use Power BI on Dynamic 365, you need a Power BI account. For testing purpose, it's sufficient to use a free account, like I'm using here on my machine. So to get started with Power BI, and started with a virtual machine, a developer virtual machine that is not connected to Lifecycle Services. So the first thing you should do is go to Lifecycle Services, go to the Shared Asset Library, go to Power BI Report Model, and download this Power BI Reports here. This can easily be done if you click on one of these reports. It opens as a Power BI file and you say you want to save it locally. In my case, I have already downloaded this Power BI files here on my virtual hard drive. So, in order to use Power BI with Dynamics 365, we need to create a Power BI app and register it. So what we want to do is to go to devpowerbi.com slash apps and register a new app. I'm already logged in with my account here. We give it a name, call it Dynamics365. We can choose a native or server-side web app. We can leave this here to server-side web app. The redirect URL is the URL of our Dynamics installation on this machine with OAuth behind. You can get this if you log on to your local installed Dynamics. Then you copy this part here from the URL and paste it to the redirect URL slash OAuth. The homepage URL is the URL of the machine. You can set here you want to read and write everything, dashboards and so on. So I'm selecting here all I need and register an app. This will create a client ID and a client secret. So I paste this here into my notepad because we need it was a configuration. So that's it so far. Now we have created a Power BI app. And in the next step, we have to tell Dynamics which Power BI app to use. So to connect Dynamics to Power BI. So we go to Dynamics, go to System Administration, go here to Power BI and enable editing. The Azure AD Authority URI is login windows.net. Copy this here. The Azure AD Power BI resource URI is analysis windows.net slash power BI slash API. Copy this here. The Azure AD Tenant needs to be the same within Power BI and Dynamics 365. So in my case, I am logged in on my tenant, that's erbcoder.at, and I have created this Power BI app here with my tenant, that's also erbcoder.at, so these both need to be the same. I paste this here. Next, we copy the client ID. This was generated by 
our website and the preview step and the application key. The redirect URL and the Power BI app address is apipowerbi.com slash beta slash my org and we can enable tile filtering by using entities and the column should be the ID. And now we can set the enabled flag here to yes and save this configuration. Okay. Now Dynamics on this virtual machine knows which Power BI tenant to look at for reports. We can close this. And the next step would be to go to Power BI. Log on and download the gateway installer. The reports we have downloaded before, these reports here, are configured to use direct query. This means they are not loading data into the application but only have a direct connection to its source database. In this example and in this uh, installation, all these reports connect to a database called AXDW, so Data Warehouse, on the local installed SQL Server. And to enable these reports, when they're published here online to Power BI, to access our local installed SQL Server, we need to install this gateway that makes a connection. This is quite easy. You go to Download and select the Data Gateway. They want to download the gateway and run the installer. Next, we want to install an on-premise data gateway. Say next, accept of course, yes, and we are installing the data gateway. When it prompts for the email address, this means the user for Power BI. In my case, this is my email address and my Power BI username, and I sign in. Give it a name, I call it Dynamics. You can use any password you like here. And click Configure. Looks good. So the Power BI Gateway installed on the virtual machine is now reaching out to Power BI Online and connecting to Power BI Online. What we need to do in the next step is to configure the gateway and configure data source. As I said, there is a local SQL Server installed on this developer machine.
let's have a look and we want to access this machine using a special user this is a predefined user that's already on the machine that's an AOS user and the password for the AOS user is AOS website at 123 now when you connect using SQL authentication not Windows authentication we can go here to the database and here is this AXDW database that we want to access so let's go to Power BI go to settings and manage gateways and here is our Dynamics Data Gateway that we installed before it says OK it is online this means uh, local installed data, data gateway was able to reach out to Power BI Online the next step is to add a data source and I call this AXDW and the type is SQL Server the server name is the name of the virtual machine so in case you have renamed this machine please provide the name I'm using here the original name that's a database you want to access is AXDW and the authentication method is Windows uh, basic sorry it's basic not Windows and the user is our AOS user and the password is AOS website at 123 and it tells us the connection is successful okay so far so good now we have configured the data gateway from Power BI and we have configured Dynamics 365 to access this instance of Power BI Online here next step would be to make the report working we can close this here we can close this and we can close this and we can close the SQL Server Manager and go to our reports here I'm starting with the Namix 64 operations the financial performance report and when we open such a report it is very likely to give us an error because as said these reports are configured to use direct query and the data source that is used for this report does not exist so what we need to do is to go edit query go to the data source settings and as you can see here this is not the correct yeah, address here and we change the source and the source name is the name of our virtual machine where SQL Server is installed so I'm providing here the name of my developer machine and we can leave the name of the database because the database name is the same I'll leave it to direct query, say OK and close and apply and close now Power BI is connecting to our database, the AXW DW database and is fetching the data and will render it in this report this may take a few seconds yeah this looks good right so the next step would be to publish this report to Power BI online so let's save and save and I have only one workspace because I'm using a free account so I'm publishing to my workspace looks good and I can close the Power BI desktop application now when we look at Power BI online 
I should see a report and a data set in my workspace. Here's the report, and here's the data set. If you get an error when publishing the report telling you that the data set is not working, you have to go to data set here, go to settings, and configure this gateway connection. As you see, we have already installed the gateway, we have configured the gateway, and we have provided an access to the AXEW database, and the program is clever enough to map this configuration to the Power BI report. So when we go back to the report and open the report in Power BI Online, we should see the data here. So now this report is rendered in Power BI Online, and the direct query is using the data gateway to access the, uh, the database on our virtual machine. Yeah, this looks good. You see, the report is working. Okay, so the last step now is to go to Dynamics 365 on our machine. Go to a workspace. I'm using the sales order processing workspace here. Go to open. Go to open report catalog. Okay, it needs. Yeah, we accept. It's the first time you have to. Configure the connection here and provide access. So this was working. We go again to our workspace, go to options, go to report catalog. And now we see all reports that are published to our Power BI Online. And this is a Dynamics Financial Performance Report. And I click OK. Now I have this report in my list of Power BI reports here. And when I click this report, it should open and render within Dynamics 365. Voila. It's working as it should. That's it. Thanks for watching.